Good morning, Nick Aiton again. And uh, yeah, I'm walking the dogs. Haven't been out for a while. Uh, caught, uh, caught COVID again, sort of second time this year, in fact. Um, third time in total. And uh, But I'm on the mend and uh, it's all good. So I, I haven't uh, done a, a video for a while. And the last couple I've done were were talking about a reach out for for founders, for projects, for companies looking to raise capital, and um, and the response has been pretty pretty good actually. And but there still seems to be a lot of confusion out there about the potential for for raising money. There's there's enormous amounts of dry powder out there, as I've said before, and. You know the, the dynamics of the investor market are are changing somewhat it's almost week by week month by month where some of the hot sectors are becoming less interesting for investors they're cooling down and other sectors that i wouldn't uh, have imagined are all of a sudden becoming really really hot and one of those sectors is direct to consumer and and of course there's a lot of a lot of focus on consumer right now isn't there with the cost of living going up and it is expensive people are looking for value people are looking to watch their expenditure get some feedbacks and maybe some analytics on what they're buying but also they're looking to get deals points prizes discounts they're looking to get you know make their money go further and in a sense, this is a, an excellent time for direct-to-consumer. And it's, uh, it's an industry that I like because, you know, I like collecting points and I like trying to get a deal, as we all do. But it's, um, it's innovation is, uh, is happening at a pace. I've got a... I've spoken about Web3 before and there's a couple of Web3 plays in the direct-to-consumer market, which starting to do really really well and they're starting to scale and of course that's the answer isn't it it's uh, any of these retail type kind of plays consumer plays they have to scale they have to reach millions of commute com consumers tens of millions hundreds of millions but also they have to reach huge amounts of of merchants uh so you can so you can join the circle in a sense um so it's you know it's 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 a it's a market that does need to scale very quickly come on you guys my dogs are old and slow a bit like me and um so consumer direct to consumer consumer retail anything to do with you know getting squeezing that bit of extra value out of our income out of our weekly spend on on products groceries food going to restaurants and the, the innovation comes in lots of different ways of course i mean it is collecting points and prizes but also making it easier payments streamlining payments qr code payments um what about receipts what about electronic receipts come on quick electronic receipts we all like receipts but they're a pain aren't they because you know you have them you put them in your pocket and uh the paper fades you're never sure what you've spent and there's no analysis and the merchant is blind of course the merchant is completely blind it doesn't know what's going on so so yeah think about it direct to consumer and uh we'll talk about some other industries in a minute talk soon bye bye